And I remember when you were a free agent, we had the little dog and pony show trying to get you to come back. <laughs> Who did you sign with? Who did you sign with instead of us, the Yankees? Or did you go, where, where, where'd you go? The Mets, you went to the Mets. Remember we had the dog and pony show here, and we had the big Carlos Beltran. Ah, same with the Yankees. Um, same with the Yankees. Yeah, yeah. Well, you signed with the Yankees. Yeah. 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 Well, just think if you well, were, but, but if, you, guys if you would have signed with the Royals, you'd have been doing this for the Royals right now and not living in New York. And you guys, uh, you guys uh, won the World Series, right? And you would have been a part of that. You would have been a part of. Love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Mike Sweeney would be so proud. I'm, oh, hugging, hey. I'm hugging people. Oh, <laughs> Mike Sweeney started that hug. Yeah, he you did, know. he did. He started it. And I remember for years they'd come up and give me, I said, Mike, just shake my hand. Don't give me a hug. And now I'm a hugger. Tell us what, what, what do you think facing Gary Cole? I wouldn't, I wouldn't treat him any different than I treated anybody. I'd look for the first fastball I thought I could hit and swing at it. <laughs> Hitting was not that was not that hard because I didn't think a lot, you know. I just went up there and swing. I see too many guys taking pitches. Oh, it's not in my zone. It's not in my zone. The pitchers will know where your zone is after a while. They'll never throw a pitch in your zone. You'll be down 0 2. Go up there and be aggressive. Swing at the first fastball you think you can hit and take a good swing at. And George, uh, understanding the. the the evolution of baseball these days with all the analytics. Do you think analytic would help you even better or no, more? No, I would have, it would have given me too much information. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to go out there basically dumb and deaf and go out there and just play the game of baseball. I just reacted. That's all I did. Interesting. And you know, you, like I was a hitting coach for two months in 2013, and I said I tried for a month. I lasted two, and I couldn't take the travel. I was out of the game for 30 years, and all of a sudden I'm back taking buses and jumping on planes and stuff. And and there was too much analytics. I mean, guys would look at it and they go, "Wait, those 28% curveballs." or fastballs, 18% curveballs, 22% slider, so they'd be up there doing math in their head during the at-bat. Mm. You know, well, he's, he's throwing me two fastballs in a row, he ain't gonna throw another one, right? because that would be, you know. And I'm going, just see the ball react and try to put a good swing on it. And, and uh, I didn't get along with the players that well. I was the bad cop, you know. I was the one that was telling them that I, I didn't think they were doing a very good job. and. The other hitting coach was saying, hang with them, hang with them. And so they all went to him, and no one came to me. So I said, screw it, I'm out of here. You know, I'm wasting my time. Um, I mean, look at this. It, it's look interesting. At this. Look at this outfield. Look at this. Four guys in the outfield? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Uh, yeah. This is happening. I, now wish, I, I, I guarantee if they did this to me, I could hit 600. Because I could hit a ground ball to shortstop or third base anytime I wanted. The whole left side. I wish, I wish they, you, you could do that, couldn't you? Well, a lot of times I end up pulling the ball to second base but for a ground out. <laughs> but you could. <laughs> and they put up a defense like this for you, Carlos. You would have moved off the plate two or three inches and just hit a ground ball to shortstop. That's all you have to do. And I don't see a lot of people doing it. That's yeah, I mean, you did have George Brett come, and uh, I think he for I think he didn't realize he was a gone Mike. Because he, he just came in in between oh, innings and had a Beltron. Then all of a sudden, they're like, well, why don't you stay a little bit and put the headset on? And then he was like, fucking, I was the worst hitting coach. Guys actually hated <laughs> yeah, me. Crazy. I hated them, too. Uh, they wanted all this information. And I was like, I don't know, fucking just hit the ball. <laughs> His hitting coach advice was <laughs> find the first good fastball to hit. Yeah. It's a simple Thanks. sport. So they started going to the other hitting coach instead of coming to me. So I just quit. It's like, well, fucking George, man. Yeah. Everything you says adds up to you kind of being a bad hitting coach. Well, and it's kind of hilarious because it all adds up. Like, dude, you're you're kind of a you're freak. Like, 3,000 hits. It's Told them I tried yeah, for a month. I made it two. Good line from that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't good like job, the travel. Man. Wasn't a good hitting coach. <laughs> okay, man. Well, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You that's, know you're mic'd up, right? That's the whole entire thing. Flash turning the Beltron and be like, How much information were you getting at the end of your career? Yeah, Beltron being like, Oh, shit, man, I would be manager of the Mets if I wasn't getting as much as I was. Yeah, that was awkward. Come on, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs>